the Magic Kingdom is in danger of foreclosure. Mickey liked those zero interest loans. No interest loans. Mickey and Minnie are in divorce court. The judge said to Mickey that he was accusing Minnie of being vague and weird. And he said, no judge, I just said she was fucking goofy. <laughs> <laughs> so enough Disney jokes, right? I decided I can't be so down. I got to get up. I got to be up. So I went to a bookstore and went to the self-help section. And I went and asked the woman where the self-help books were. And she said, sir, I can't tell you. It would defeat the purpose. <laughs> I finally found a book I was looking for on exercise. Uh, the book told me that exercise is good for the mind and the body. And it intensifies your personality. What if I'm an asshole? <laughs> the book said that exercise helped me in finding a newfound energy and calm. And I said, yeah, well, I could just get some Red Bull and a quart of Jack. <laughs> so then I tried spinning. I heard that was good. Uh, the problem was that spinning around my backyard, I kept getting dizzy and falling down. <laughs> I can tell you one thing, the neighbors don't fuck with me anymore. <laughs> with my new, newfound energy and all the endorphins, I decided to call up my toughest clients, Doris and Dick Kravitz. And I sent them some tickets to come on up and let's have a meeting about our, their account. And I put them on Southwest, and Doris is a little large. So they have this new policy where you need to buy two tickets for one passenger when you're that big. The problem was they weren't in the same row. So they put her head in 37B and her ass in 2A. And they shoved her tits in the overhead compartment. <laughs> Let's just say that sometimes things are out of our control. I uh, had Doris and Dick come over for a meeting, and I thought, you know, this is a time to put things, put some money into very conservative things. So I said, okay, let's do Heinz ketchup. Everybody loves hot dogs, fries, burgers. She said, oh, that's, that's terrific. Let's do that. Well, we buy Heinz, and a month later, FDA finds salmonella in tomato farms. <laughs> no control. She's pissed. She sells her Heinz. She says, I want something with spicy. I said, how about Zesty Pepper Company? Fine, we'll buy some pepper stocks. <clears throat> they find salmonella in the pepper plants. <laughs> the FDA, in its infinite wisdom, reassured all in the coming months, the tomato companies would catch up. <laughs> well, I knew that was a good one. <laughs> That's why I had trouble with the line. I wasn't sure I wanted to deliver it. <laughs> anyway, I've had it. I'm done. Tomatoes, whatever. I said, I'm going to call my doc, Dr. Harold Hedfink. He's my shrink. I said, Doc, I'm thinking of jumping off a ledge. And he said, okay, from now on, you gotta pay in advance. <laughs> I said, Doc, what's wrong with me? And he said, Johnny, you are just fucking crazy. And I said, I want a second opinion. And he said, okay, you're ugly too. <laughs> Thank you.